Want to do laundry in your van and stop going to the laundromat and pack less clothes? Stay tuned. I'll show you how. Hey everyone and my dashers, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to talk about the two ways that you can wash your clothes in your van and spend less time in the laundromat and more time doing what you need to do. My name is Lisa and I travel part-time with my Chihuahua Zeus and our Pro Master City cargo van. Now, I'm a part-time van lifer, so yes, I am not in my van at the moment. I am in home base kitchen because it is still in the upper 90s here in Texas. So, most times I go on the weekends, I go for a week-long trip or two weeks or more. So, I have two ways that I do laundry, all right? So the first is the weekend. Well, I'm sorry, you have enough clothes to do the weekend. That's only two days and the third day you're home. So you don't really need to do laundry for two days. However, for a week long, I go ahead and use this. This is the mini scrub out wash pack. Now with this bad boy, I do the personals. So all my undergarments, my bras, my underwears, my socks, any towels, rags, whatever. Because honestly, your shirt you can wear a couple times, your pants you can wear a couple times, no big deal. And by the time you get home, I have enough clothes, okay, for that amount of time. So, yeah, but your personals, yeah, they should be washed every two, three days. And honestly, this is so easy. You put your clothes in, you put about two liters of water in it and you do your wash. You rinse it, same another two liters, there you go, you're done. All right, wring them out, hang them up. I use the Sea to Summit clothesline and I've got clean laundry. So that's just my intimates, my bras, my underwears, and my socks. So, doesn't take any power either, very compact. I also take this on my hiking trips because I can use this as a, as a wet bag. So I can put on my phone and everything else that I don't want to get wet. I can put them in here and they just roll up and close. So that is the scrubber wash pack and this is how you use it. All right, the scrubber wash pack is a bag. So basically you're going to open it up and put all your dirty clothes on in and add your two liters of water. Now using Dr. Brimer's, you only need about a quarter size worth of laundry detergent for this small load. Seal it up, give it a good old shaky shake, then you're gonna let out the air so it infuses in with the clothes. So now we get to rub it on that washboard so your clothes actually get it and shake every once in a while to move the clothes around. As you can see, the water is getting pretty nasty. Once the wash is done, you're going to wring out each individual one and empty out the bad water. Put your clothes back in and sure enough, add two more liters of fresh water and do the process all over again. Letting the air out right here and then we're going to do shake, shake, rub, rub. All right, I think the laundry is definitely clean, so we are going to wring out all the new clean clothes, put it aside, and empty out the rinse water. Once the rinse water is all gone, we are going to flip it inside out. I'm going to show you that wash pad. There it is. All those little nubbies help to clean your clothes. I clip the top and I let it stand up. So it gives it a chance to air dry the bag while I'm hanging up the laundry. And voila, we have clean clothes. All right, if I'm gonna be gone for more than a week, so we're looking at two weeks or more, I bring in this bad boy. This is the uh, laundry alternative drop. So what this machine does, it does the wash and spin dry 
in one and I can use a Jackery 240 on it but I have my 600 watt Blue Yeti EB3A that I'm going to use for this and uh, let me show you how that's done. Now for the drop, I'm gonna open it up and get it ready for the wash cycle. So with that, I need to take out my spin dryer, which I have upside down so it doesn't move around while I'm driving. And as you can see, there is the agitator right at the bottom there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with water. Now, normally you would put your clothes in first and then put in your water, but I just wanted to show you exactly how much laundry detergent of Dr. Brahmer's that you would need. As you can see here, there is a minimum and maximum level of water that you need when operating this particular washing machine. And look, only two squirts really, and that's all you need for this amount of laundry. Now let's put in the clothes. And there you go. Now this is a gravity fed, so make sure that this hose is exactly up because there is no switch. The power consumption was around 200, 210 for the wash and spin cycles. So that's about what you need for power. This is gravity fed, so take it off and put it into a bucket or a sink like I'm doing here. Now repeat the same process for the rinse. After the rinse cycle, it's now time to spin dry it. So take out your agitator and get your steel drum. You're gonna put this in, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it in and let it go ahead and sink in on its own. So kind of move it around and when you let it hear it drop, make sure that it's steady and now it's ready to be loaded. Make sure that your load is even because it will be an unbalanced load and you'll know, you'll hear it knocking. So hook up your power, turn on the on button and the spin cycle. Make sure that your hose is down on your bucket and let it spin. Look at how much water is coming out of those clothes just with a spin dryer. Now that you're done, just go ahead and put your hose back on its hook. Turn off your power. And now take out your clothes. Look at how dry this already is. So my laundry is almost done. So what I like to do is I will take my wonderful tub out here. It is still wet. So I will take a towel and just wipe it down. This is stainless steel, so, and I'm gonna set that out to dry. I will leave the cap open and I would also dry the inside as well. And then I will put in the rotator. And that pretty much does my laundry. As you can tell, the shirt is almost dry. Like this will take about an hour to dry out. What I would do is I would string my C to Summit clothesline on my awning and I would hang my clothes right there to dry and it'll be dry in about an hour. So those are the two ways that I do laundry. If I'm done for two weeks or whatever and need my clothes dry and clothes washed. I got two shirts and a shorts. Um, I'm sure I could have put my mentionables in there as well. I had enough room but I don't think y'all want to see that on camera. <laughs> so, scrub a wash bag. If I'm doing light loads, I want to keep my um, underwears and my undergarments nice and clean. I'll use the scrub a wash bag. Anything for two weeks or more, I will bring this big one so I can actually do clothes.
I hope you like this video. Please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell if you got any value from this. And Zeus and I are going to get ready. We are actually packing the van. We're going to be at Lollapalooza in October. Um, but we're going to go to the Texas Renaissance Fair, do some camping out there, um, and just do some day trips and some weekend trips. So, as always, hey, stop dreaming it. Start living it. Bye.